just I've been playing Denver this year. Uh, yeah. Ryan had such a big impact on your career earlier in your career. What's it going to be like going up against him, knowing that he's trying to scheme to stop you in this series? <laughs> uh, me, me and Ryan's relationship is deep in the basketball, you know. Um, his father gave me the chance to live my NBA dream and, and gave me and trusted me to uh, do big things for this organization and, and, and play basketball at this highest level. So um, I'm forever grateful to him and his family. And, uh, you know, I, I love him tremendously. So um, always wishing the best for him. How have you kind of maintained, stayed in touch with him since, since he left the, the team? Oh, uh, just communication. You know, it's 2023. We got cell phones. iPhones are great. FaceTimes are awesome. So just seeing his kids, you know, just get so big and everything. And then and, and just uh, always staying in contact. Uh, last time we were here, I didn't play. And we took some photos as, as a, in a way as a family. And, uh, you know, I cherish those photos. Any communication with him this week or any text? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Locking in. Yeah, we locked in. Uh, what do you what do you just view this uh, this matchup going up against Jokic, best team in the Western Conference? Uh, is this a opportunity for this team to make a make a statement? I feel like anytime we go on the court, it's a, it's an opportunity to make a statement. You know, winning an NBA is a very hard thing to do, and um, just finding ways to win is, is is awesome. Obviously, number one team in the West and. Uh, Jokic, possible possible MVP this year. It's going to be a fun game. It's, it's fun, you know, when you get to play against the best of the best, you couldn't ask for more. So, Kenz, what's, what's the biggest thing you picked up? Third, third trip to the playoffs now. What did we learn most from those first two series that you used to run that Memphis last year? Um, just, you know, stay disciplined, stay solid. I, I think that, you know, you talk about it and then, you know, uh, never get too high, never get too low, just stay even killed, you know, so just just go out here, play our game. I mean, um, we're in a great spot, you know. I know everyone's like, well, it's game one. I know we got all these media people here and stuff, and it's the playoffs and game one. We've been playing in the playoffs for the last month, so uh, it should be no different. It's a win, win every game mentality. Is that mentality even more important on the road where things can get of course. Really loud at times? Of course, but like just like I said, we, we've had some great experience already. We, we had this kind of atmosphere in L.A., so. Um, just to go in there and you know do what we had to do over there is it's, it's huge. So uh, just take that experience and bring it to tonight's game and just play the way we've been playing. You know, play very hard and, and uh, play together. The defense has been playing well. What do you think the biggest key has been there over the last couple of weeks? Really, since you came back, the defense has been really good. I appreciate you. Um, just just continue to protect the paint. Continue to make things difficult on opponents. Utilize our length, you know, in contesting shots and. Um, just uh, get second. Uh, make sure they don't get uh, many second chance re uh, opportunities. I was sorry, I asked this earlier, but is there a different feeling when you come into the playoffs for a third time, just knowing what it's like, knowing what to expect, just in, in the overall yeah. experience part? Of it. Yeah, just experience. I mean, experience kicks in big, you know, for me and. Uh, you know, they always talk about experience, and now that I truly have it, I, I just feel it's, it feels totally different doing all this stuff and everything. But like I said before, yeah, if you treated every game in the regular season as a as a must-win game and a playoff game, then there should be no different tonight. So just go out there, play our game, have fun, enjoy playing the best of the best, and showing that we you know we belong in these spots. We don't know maybe some of the, the big things you learned about trying to make this partnership okay, really work that you implemented after you came back that was different from the first 20 games of the season. Um, I feel like the first 22 when I was playing, we, we had a great connection. I feel like we was really we was really doing well together. Um, just to continue to uh, maximize what he does offensively is was it's my biggest objective so just putting him in spots like I said before that he could succeed at and and and, and utilize his length and his talent so I, I think for me and, uh, and us is just continue to find each other's space and continue to understand where everyone's going to be without thinking about it and uh, you know that just comes with time but we've done a great job in the games I've played of being in the right spots together we know how tough we know how tough they are one seed obviously but how unique is it that they haven't seen this yeah, I'm, I just saw it. So, <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, it's 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 cool. You know, it, it's it's very fortunate for us because they don't have tape of us truly. Um, they they haven't seen our team together. They have, you know, obviously with the trades and me being hurt and everything. Um, it's it, it works in our benefit that you know, in a way that they've been sitting home since Saturday, Sunday of last week, and they haven't actually had a chance to have any tape to rely on to understand how we play or 
or them playing against us or in that way, you know, we're a totally different team from the last time we played them um, from personnel to just kind of the game plan from the way we play. So it, it, it's very fortunate for us. So uh, hopefully that uh, those fortunes work in our favor tonight. And how wild is it to have different versions of yourselves as a team and then have yeah. success in the yeah, I'm. Uh, I think I'm more happy that you know when everything was on the line, we played our best game last game. So we should feel very good walking into tonight with the confidence high and understanding that if we played that way. We played against OKC. There's not many teams I feel that could beat us on a nightly basis, especially in a seven-game series. All things considered, how far along are you in terms of familiarity and understanding your niche on this? Uh. I would say for me, it changes every day. So every matchup, like, you know, Rudy was out, I became a five again. I haven't been a five all year, haven't worked on five, being a five at any point of the season. So kind of just thrown out there and being a five and having to learn Rudy's position and what he does and how our defenses will have to change. And, um, you know, some nights I'll be a four and then sometimes during the game, I'll be both. So uh, it's kind of one of those things I, I feel like from that kind of Understanding going in what I'm doing, I'm just feeling like I got to do everything. So whatever's that asked. No, I feel it, I, I, I could do it. So I'm not worried about that. There's, I have too much confidence, and I know my ability. I know I could do whatever the coaches ask. So whatever I'm asked to do to, to help garner a win, I'm willing to do. Tim Conley, Mike Nori, uh, Chris Vance, they all have a lot of familiarity with this team. In what ways Austin this, Rivers. Austin Rivers as well. In what way has the scouting reports been different from a typical one because of that familiarity? A lot of first-hand experience, so it, it helps us tremendously. So, um, you know, you'll see tonight. It helps us a lot. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Thanks Pat. Pat.